Hello, in this video, I am going to show you the scaffold layout. So the scaffold layout is essentially what's on our application by default, this little bar at the top, the text, and this little button right here. So all of it is right here. So we remember we have three classes. This is just generally setting everything up, like the name, the color, that sort of stuff. This is just a state for widget, and this is the home page, and this is what you know the home page looks like this is where we'll do you know most of the logic code you know what we're displaying etc and the actual body of it goes in here and we've been doing that in separate videos so feel free to take a look at the widget videos gesture videos all that stuff and all of that or a lot of time will be inside here but what i, what I want to do, explain all the little aspects right here so we got this little title what happens if we was to remove it as you see that title disappears so this app bar so if we remove the app bar is the bar at the top so if you don't want that that's what you do you literally remove it and that color is set from the primary swatch right here and i covered that in one of the earliest videos in this series feel free to take a look at that it's the app base code video okay so widget.title this is getting it from so it's getting it from here and ultimately it's getting it from this. So if we don't want that, so maybe, you know, if we click a button, it will change the widget.title. We can change that. So we could just put hello instead. So it says, you know, something different. Now. The body again is where the main, you know, all your elements will go. We've covered all of that. Then we got the for floating action button. So this is just this button right here. And on pressed, it just does underscore increment counter, which is this method right here. Takes no parameters, has nothing been set in, and basically setting the state of a particular initially was of this little label here that was getting incremented every single time whatever you do in here is totally up to you so we've got this floating action button if you do not want that we can remove that like so let me get rid of that comment we no longer have a button so let's put it back in we can obviously change the tool tip we can change the child also like it's an icon and we could put icons dot as you can see we got quite a few different icons we get like a little preview here as well so maybe if you were like some sort of ad actually i think it was the ad before anyway oh it was ad before anyway let's do something a little different let's do airplay so yeah maybe simulating like casting some sort of media object over so you now have an airplay button or like a button that looks like an airplay button the functionality that you do is totally up to you. Well, that's really it for the scaffold. There's not much more to it than that. So we have the app bar, which is, you know, this little thing at the top right here. If you press control space, you can see all of the different properties. So you can override some of the properties like background color. I recommend you do that. I recommend you change brightness. You know, just experiment with this. And we have the body. And we can have a floating action button as well, which is what we have right there. You can also change the position by doing, oh, what did I just do? By doing floating action button location. And we can just say floating action button location dot. And we could say center dot, for example, save that. As you can see, it's in the center. For some reason, my device is rotated it's in the center. So if you wanted it, you know, center dot. And what else is there? The center float as well. Center float, it's like there's a bit of a gap. I prefer the gap personally. I think it looks a bit more elegant. And obviously, the different ones will leave it as default, which is on the right. And start is on the left, end is on the right, and center is obviously in the middle. The last thing I want to show you is actually the bottom navigation bar. So, the bottom navigation bar, this is bottom app bar. And in here, what we can do, so if we save that, obviously we get nothing because we haven't added anything. So, if we let's say added a child, so we add a child and we say container. 
And all I'm going to do in here is set the height property to, let's say, 50.0. This should be a nice value. As you can see, we have a bottom up banner. You can override different properties, such as the decoration. You can modify the color that way. You can add a child there. It could be some sort of button. Because obviously, it's a navigation bar. You could have almost like tabs. It's totally up to you. So that's really it for the scaffold. That's all there is. And there's some great comments that are built in that can help explain it further. What I'll do, I'll provide an extra link with this video so you can actually see all of the information from the official documentation for scaffolds. If you have any questions though, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.